six balls. <laughs> New personal best to me, which is super dope. It's the closest comparison we have had to this date on this channel. You gonna hold that? I'm gonna juggle the whole time. Nice. Hey guys, Wolfpack Bat Reviews here. <laughs> Is it recording? What's going on guys, Wolfpack Bat Reviews here. First off, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're over 700 now, getting to that thousand mark. Let's go baby, we'll probably do like a gear giveaway or something cool. Drop a comment with something you wanna see, but hit that subscribe button. We're here today with another video for you. Today we have Hellfire Pier Bat versus the Mad Hatter M5 Monster Bat. Um, so this is gonna be an amazing comparison video to see kind of what is better for our swings. But we also have a special guest for you today. We have my fiance, uh, Anna. She's gonna be basically showing you guys like the girl side of things. She's only been playing softball for about a year. Um, so it's gonna be genuine good swings. Yeah, when you see some girl swings today and they're not gonna be from me this time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have the Pure Hellfire here and then the M5 Monster Mad Hatter, which is basically just a M5 torch or a Gan Green repaint if you can keep up with all of that. So yep. uh, this one has a slight end load. This one is mid loaded, 25 and a half, 25, um, both moderately stiff handles. Yeah, I believe they're both like on the stiffer side. I don't like believe- 3500-ish. Yeah, I don't think that they're doing much flex stuff. Uh, but we believe that this is gonna be a pretty good comparison. Um, what bat do you normally swing? I typically swing a Trippin or I swing the PE Ice Torch. So pretty similar, I guess you could say, between the two different techs, so we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna be doing tee work as well as live pitching between the two of these. So basically we've got T-Work for this bat, T-Work for that bat, live pitch for this bat, live pitch for that bat. So four sessions per person. So there's gonna be a lot coming at you, but it's gonna be a good comparison. We're also at 360U, we got the hit tracks running, so we're gonna be able to see exit velocity and distance to give you numbers telling you which of these does better. Both of them are slightly used out of wrappers, so we're pretty fair comparison here. Very similar bats, both have like an internal pad versus fib type of thing, so very yep. similar technologies here. Uh, I think this would be a good ASA USA comparison. Let's get out there. Let's go. Oh yeah. We're also swinging these bad boys. We got the evil sports, evil BP balls. And some game balls as well. So we can kind of give you a comparison of both of those in addition. All right, first up we got the Pier Hellfire with that pad power amplification device. Let's, uh, let's see it. So first swing of the day with the Pier Hellfire, 83, around 83, you said? Okay. Not too bad. Nice. All right, so so far, about a couple cuts in. Um, so far, it looks like it's been low 80 so far. That's pretty normal for me for swinging multiple different bats. So, so far, good performance. Uh, like I said in the beginning, this is a 25.5. Uh, from our other video of the Pier Hellfire, we were swinging a 26.5. So, this one's a 25.5, more truer to what me and Jared swing. Uh, so, this should be a really good comparison. I'm excited. All right, last ball off the tee with the Hellfire. Let's see. It. There we go. So we swung, 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 swanked. We swung the 26.5 Hellfire a couple months back. That one was decent, um, but Pierce sent us now with 25.5, which, like Strange said, is a little bit more what we are used to. And this one, I feel like, swings differently and feels a lot better than the 26.5 did. So it'd be cool to see it with a numbers comparison directly compared to a monster and see how we go from there.
off. <laughs> so first time swinging a pier bat, feels pretty light. I actually kind of like how it feels. It's not super clacky, obviously, like a monster, which I, I love that sound, but I actually kind of like it. All right, M5, Mad Hatter. Let's see this. I, I, again, do not like Jared's grip. Don't like it. It's the same thing as an opto. It's not. All right, a couple swings in. It honestly feels good. It's got really good feedback, honestly. I've mishit a couple now. <laughs> um, that'll probably be on the blue reel, but uh, honestly, it's really good feedback. Doesn't sting your hands or anything. Neither did the Hellfire, though, either. Uh, both have really good feedback, so it's a plus for both so far. So thoughts on the Mad Hatter, even though it's a 25, it feels heavier than the other one, which is a 25.5, but it feels good. I'm hitting close to like my max exit velocity, which is surprising with this being like a brand new bat. Uh, I trip in, which is U trip bat, or I swing the uh, PE ice torch and that is super broken in so the fact that i'm getting so close to my uh, max exit velocity is pretty crazy all right pure hellfire 25.5 live pitch uh anna's pitching because jared sucks because at pitching strange is a big <laughs> that read I like the sound of it, to be honest, with live pitch. I feel like I'm getting a better sound off than off the tee, but it's got a good sound, actually. Good? All right, you wanna? Okay, Pure Hellfire 25.5, live pitch with Anna pitching, let's go. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Just six balls. <laughs> keep having camera issues.
All right, Mad Hatter. Live pitch swings. Let's see what M5's got here. Let's go. You? No, because you don't have a cool wolf pack case like I do. I have a shiny Gyarados head. All right. <laughs> All right, we're back. That was a lot of filming, of camera issues, of swinging, <laughs> of pitching, of pitching issues. But we did it. it we're a, here. It was a circus. It took it took us a while. And a lot of math. Yes, a lot of math. So we plugged everything in behind the scenes. Typically we do this as we're editing, but for this specific, we wanted to do it right away. Yep. So we got all of our numbers after every single session, emailed, got them all into a big fancy spreadsheet, and we have the final results here. So that's why I don't have like a script. It's just literally the numbers so that I can have a cheat sheet because I can't remember all of these. Um, that's going to be over here. But obviously we all <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, see? We all did the Pure Bat off the tee, the Pure Bat live, and then the Mad Hatter, which is Monster's M5 tech. It's a mid load off of the tee and then also live. Um, yeah. And this was such a close race between the two. This is by far the closest comparison, I believe, to date that we've had for two different brands. Yes. Not talking just Monza, not talking just Pure, just in general, different companies and comparing. This is the closest comparison we have had yet. Yep. So, are we just getting right into numbers right away then? Yeah, we can get right into numbers. So what do you want to talk about first? All right, so talking about the bats, uh, for T work first, I had a little bit better performance out of the M5, the Mad Hatter, um, but then the pier was right there. And then for live pitch, they actually were like dead nuts, like almost the exact same. Um, I'm more of a line drive hitter, so a lot of mine aren't really going for distance. It's just line drives. Um, so max or for my distances, that's why they're going to be a little bit like lower than what you would think. Um, just cause I'm more of a line drive hitter. So live pitch, you both said it. I, I could hear it too. The pure sounded different live pitch than it did off the tee. Yes. Yep. And I don't know if it's because we did T work first, then went to live pitch because we all did T work first with it. And then we all went to live pitch. So I don't know if it was just because of it being on the tee or if the actually the bat was just breaking in more because yeah. honestly it sounded way louder you could almost it's not a clack but it's a loud like it's like a, a crack yeah it's, it's like a, a crack, cracking not noise a clack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's honestly i really like it it yeah. sounds like you're mashing yeah. right like i feel like that's one of those things that like monster has that wow factor that people that don't know they hear that sound they're like what are you swinging i feel like pure also has that now that yeah. like with this bat like it has that sound where people are going to be like turning their head like what is he swinging yep or she um yeah speaking of which <laughs> how were your numbers what did it look like for you what did so, you kind of see like all right so for me i hit better live pitch than i do off a tee i've only been playing softball for like a little over a year and 
I didn't grow up playing softball and hitting off of a tee, so like hitting off of a tee is super weird to me. Um, live pitch, I always do a little bit better. Uh, so my averages for off the tee for both bats were 59.3, so exactly the They're same. Really <laughs> <laughs> so they feel very similar, which is crazy because you don't find very many brands that can compete with a monster, and I definitely think this pier does. Um, live pitch, I had, with the pier, I had 61.2 for the average, and then the Mad Hatter 63. I actually broke my uh, max exit velocity with the Mad Hatter. I hit 67. The, the pier gives me such a better feeling, and I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm not very good yet, so I make mistakes, and, and it feels like it has this large sweet spot. It crackles, it feels amazing. The Mad Hatter, Definitely right there too. I, I love Monsta. It feels amazing, but I'm I'm gonna go with the pier. And I think the the pier has a bigger barrel, so it's gonna yep. have a better sweet spot to it. Um, the M5s I know too though can feel a lot harder until you break them in, and yeah. then they just feel amazing at that point. So this can only go up from there. We have experience yeah. with it. Obviously, pier is brand new to the ASA world, so we don't have the longevity on this to tell, but. Overall, they're both great bats. As far as my numbers go, I suppose I should have. Uh, T work was super similar. Uh, Mad Hatter was 0.7, so like just a little bit, like a half mile per hour, basically faster. That one out, but barely. Like they were so similar, and it was fine. And obviously, I've also been working on my swing and stuff like that too. So I've been doing a lot of live BP practice. So going back to T work and then figuring out how that swing translates over to T work felt a little weird at first. Yeah. But then we eased into live pitch, and that's kind of where the Mad Hatter took off for me a little bit. Um, the miles, the distance was the same on the both of them. I think I had one extra foot with the Mad Hatter over the pier, but I actually have a new personal best as far as exit velocity goes with the Mad Hatter. I hit an 85.4 with the Mad Hatter over my previous 84.1, so new personal best to me, which is super dope. Um, that was super exciting. And I did have a little bit higher exit velocity as well, but again, overall, they're both super similar. Like I said earlier, it's the closest comparison we have had to this date on this channel and personally. and. Uh, but to be honest, yeah, Monsta's still ahead just by a little bit. Yep. It's ahead. This is a super fun comparison. I know there's a lot going into it. Thank you, Anna, for coming and swimming with us, kind of showing your side of things coming into it as well. Obviously, we're both also fairly new to all of this. We're not pros by any means. Yep. We're out here doing our best to uh, have fun and give you some relative comparisons with what's new in the softball world as well. So Yeah, we're definitely just having fun with it, and we appreciate you guys watching. We have a lot of fun doing this, and we have a lot of fun meeting you guys, too, when we go to tournaments and if we've never met just come up and talk to us we're just normal people just we're just having fun yeah um, shout out to pier for sending us this bat and then shout out to headbanger sports this this design's pretty dope on this monster so shout out to both those companies for i want everyone us to, to know this. that the original m2 tech mad hatter is the reason we started this softball channel <laughs> I don't think people know that. That yeah. for me is the reason why we started this. Yeah. That bat was a dream bat for both of us. Yep. Basically from slow pitch bat bros swinging it and yep. just seeing it and knowing what that bat looked like and how limited it was and that it was sold out like two and a half years before we got into it. Yep. Strangers tell me we need to make a softball channel, all that <laughs> stuff. And Blake, shout out to Blake because he got five million bats and out of those five million bats, the first couple he had were like three different Mad Hatters. Yeah. And after the second one sold with him swinging it 20 times, I was like, okay, we, we just need to do it because we could have swung that bat. Yeah. I could have swung my dream bat, but didn't because I didn't have a reason to. It wasn't my bat, it was Blake's yeah. bat, we didn't have a channel. So we made a channel, we got one in shortly after, and now I have my own Mad Hatter. So this bat is what started it for me. Strange Wanda started before that, and that was the <laughs> kick in the butt I needed just to get going. So that just a little short story there on that. <laughs> Also, uh, check out our website. We have mer new merch. Uh, we have really dope hoodies. We have shorts, pants, uh, hats, shirts. Leggings. We got, yeah, we have leggings uh, for girls. And guys, too. And guys, yeah. I'm cutting that off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it all in there. Uh, but uh, definitely check out our website. We have a lot of really cool apparel. Uh, and it supports the channel, which keeps us doing yeah. what we love. So we appreciate your guys' support. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. Keeps this going. Thank you, guys. See ya. Later. Wolfpack, the channel of one more. Right, Jared? Yep. One more. One more.
Let me do that. Oh. <laughs>